You, you've got to see this case. If someone comes and grabs you and tells you they've got something they've got to see, like you know it is gonna be good. He pulls back the patient's curtain just a little bit and my jaw dropped. I have, I have never seen anything like this before or since. Whenever someone finds out that I'm an ER doctor, the first thing they always ask is, what is the craziest thing you've ever seen? Spartans, welcome back to another episode of Train Spartan. And I've got an exciting new segment for you. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Uh, as the intro said, I am an ER doc, and I often get asked, you know, what is the craziest story that you, you know, craziest thing you've ever seen? And so this first one, it's a good one. It's probably one of my best ones. We'll start you out with an awesome one. It involves a man, his foot, and his best friend. Hope you enjoy. So this story starts off at the end of a, you know, typical shift. Worked at a pretty busy hospital, pretty busy ER. Saw a lot of patients. End of my shift, just, you know, getting ready to go home, finishing up some charts. The night doc was already there, seeing some patients. Getting ready to wind down and head home for the next, the next shift. And Dr. Z, we'll call him, comes and goes, he's like, Tyler. Tyler, dude, come here for a second, man. Come here, Tyler. Like, you, You've got to see this case. All right, now, Dr. Z is an experienced doc. He's seen a lot of things in his day like, like the rest of us have. So if someone comes and grabs you and tells you they've got something they've got to see, like you know it is gonna be good. Like, all right, all right, Dr. Z, what you got? See, see how she's over here. Okay, come here, come here. Let's get up by where the patient is and he, he pulls back the patient's curtain just a little bit. And, and this is what I saw. And my jaw dropped. I have, I have never seen anything like this before or since. And I was like, dude, what the F man? What, what happened? And so, I mean, it looked like something out of a horror movie, right? Like, oh my goodness. And so, He's like, dude, this is, a, this is the craziest thing. So patient, you know, had been, hadn't, hadn't gotten out of, hadn't gotten out of bed in, in days, right? They weren't, weren't the healthiest, had some diabetes and, um, dude, the, the, the patient's dog had eaten his toes off. We're like, what? No, no, like his pet dog, He's like, yeah, man, his pet dog ate all of his toes. So, so that picture, it's just one foot, right? Like the other was almost identical. Um, for, save for one fact, and this is where the story gets even better. I was like, what? What happened? He's like, so, funny fact, like the patient had actually been seen before by one of our orthopedic surgeons and had a, maybe a partial amputation, I guess you could say. The, the big toe on one of the feet had already been eaten by that same dog previously. And so, you know, they patched it, put a flap of skin around it, it was healed up, scarred down. So there were only nine toes missing this time. But like, what? wait, so like, so this guy's dog, so Fido gets hungry, eats his toe, and then several months later, comes back and finishes the job. Like, it was the same dog. He's like, yeah, man. Like, it was the same dog. Came back and ate all the rest of their toes off. I was like, dude, what? Like, if, I mean, I, I, maybe, maybe I'm unreasonable, but I'm like, if my dog that lives in my house and has access to my feet, like, already took one toe, like, I think I'm probably gonna get rid of the dog. You know, maybe give it to an animal show. Like, I don't know. But, but then, holy cow, dude, 
And I mean, you, you'd think that the person, like it, it doesn't, you know, it's not like a quick snack to, like the, the toes were gone, right? Like the sockets of these toes were licked dry at the feet. I mean, they weren't even bleeding. Like, they, like you gotta know the Fido's down there nibbling your feet off. I'm like, what the heck? Like, oh my goodness. But in the dog's defense, it probably saved the person's life because the only reason they came in is because a family member saw him without any toes and called an ambulance. But like they, they were like, they're dying, their kidneys were shutting down. They said they hadn't gone up and moved in four days. I don't know if they had anything to eat or drink in four days. I mean, it was, oh, it was wild. I have, I have never seen anything like that. And I, I tell, I tell our nurses that story and like no one, it's like, it's almost too crazy to believe. But I mean, that's, that's, that's a Tuesday night. Like we see stuff like that on a pretty regular basis. You're like, I, 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 I can't even dream up the stuff that we see in the ER. Like you see an ER doc, I can guarantee you, they've got a lot of good stories for you. So, you know, hope, Hope you learned something from that, got a little entertainment out of it. If you did, you know, give us a thumbs up and a like. Uh, I guess the moral of the story is, you know, feed your dogs well. And, uh, you know, maybe if they <laughs> take off one toe, it might be a sign it's time to get a new dog. Just, just a thought, but take care, guys.